Hey everybody, I'm Katrina, the owner of Katheme Creations Roofs and Things, and I'm back to do a video with you guys today. And I figured we would do a fall reef today because mm -hmm. I still have so many fall things I need to get out. So I figured I would do a fall reef with you guys today. Um, I have, you, you guys haven't seen me for a couple of weeks. It's because I have an event coming up this weekend, which is the uh, festival at Etowa Park this Saturday and Sunday coming up. So it's going to be um, September 25th and 26th, um, which is this Saturday and Sunday coming up. So I'm hoping you guys can come out to Etowa Park and uh, see my creations. I have been working behind the scenes tirelessly trying to uh, get material, uh, make some reefs, get it, get the reefs that I already have up to par for sale, making sure everything is um, uh, together, uh, making sure I have stands, making sure I have a tent, making sure I have chairs. So it's a lot of things that go behind the scene before an event. So I have been tirelessly working and doing that. But I wanted to come down and make a read today. So I said, hey, let me come on and do a live with my viewers so you guys can see me make this reef. Now, this reef today, hey, before I get into that, if you're watching me, say hi. Send me a wave emoji. Send me a smiley face. Let me know who you are. Let me know where you're checking in from. Let me know whether you do crafts or not. If this is something that you're into or you just like to watch the videos of other people doing craft work, let me know. Because I love to know when people are watching me and where they're watching me from. Because I'm just amazed at how far uh, technology goes where people can watch you from across the country. And, you're, and I'm right here in Canton, Georgia, but somebody is all the way from maybe over on California side checking my videos out I really do appreciate that and when you come on can you like share definitely share and definitely comment as you're watching my video I really would love to see that Katrina, and know that know that's what y'all doing today I want to text my husband real quick so give me a second let me text my husband real quick and let him know I'm doing a live and we can get started now like i said we're going to do a fall reef today this is the sign that we're going to do today thankful harvest blessing pumpkins blessings pumpkins now this has a very shiny shimmery uh outline around it that's why i went with this gold foil right here because i wanted to bring out that gold shimmery line I'm also working with an 18 inch work form, wire work form, which is not normally what I work with. I'm normally, I normally work with the 14 inch or the 15 inch pre, um, pre done up uh, reefs that already have the uh, Chanel stems attached to them. But today I, I got this 18 inch at Dollar Tree and I said, hey, let's make a reef with it. So we're gonna do the 18 inch wire reef form and I got the wire reef form from the Dollar Tree these uh this is the mesh and there's two types they're very similar but they're different and I had these left over and I wasn't quite sure what to do with them and finally when I saw the sign look at that that's just perfect with the sign so I didn't have a full roll on this one I didn't have a full roll on this one so I said hey let me just split it in half so when I made my put my Chanel stems on my frame there's they came up to be 18 so I put that in half. So I got nine of this cut at 20 inches and I got nine of this mesh cut at 20 inches. So if you're using an 18 inch uh, work form and you do it the way I did it. Now I've showed you this the, the way I've done it to, for you guys before, but I'll show you again. I attach a Chanel stem just anywhere on the, on the form. I tie it and then I lean it over. See how I have it here? I lean it over. And then that's where I attach the very next one. I lean that one over and this is where I attach the very next one. I lean it over and I attach the very next one. And I repeat this process all the way around the reform. I do the same thing inside. I attached uh, my Chanel stem to any part inside the frame. And then I just bent it over and this is where I started the next one. I did the same with this one. This one is over a little more, but that's okay. And then I did the same here, same here, same here. So when I did that, it came out to be 18 Chanel stems that I have on my work form. So I had to cut that in half, which is nine and nine. So I got nine cuts of this mesh at 20 inches 
and nine cuts of this mesh at 20 inches because we're going to do the uh, cruffle where you roll the uh, outsides on both ends and then cruffle it up and place it on the on the work phone now you're asking well Katrina what you going to do with the gold mesh ha this is the 21 inch gold mesh and I'm going to do 10 inch poofs with this all the way around before I put my mesh on so I'm going to do uh, 10 inch poofs all the way around my work form before I put this in let me show you what else I have for this now to tell you the truth ladies and gentlemen I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this or check these out I'm gonna use these look at that sign and then look at these it goes with it perfectly down to the sunflower here at the bottom look at that sunflower and then look at this there's a sunflower there's acorns there's an acorn here I mean these match perfectly as well so I don't know if I'm gonna use these or whether I'm going to use these acorns here which are separate these here with these leaves with some pumpkins and add these sunflowers I got this ombre color sunflower and then I got a yellow sunflower so I'm not sure I also found in my stash these beautiful blinged out acorns look at that and it matches the sun perfectly too I bring it up a little closer so you can see how blingy they are I think they are beautiful there they go but I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of that yet so I'll, maybe you guys can help me decide that as we go along what we should use so these are the, the leaves over here we got acorns we got the sunflowers we have the pumpkins we also have these flowers here so we got to make up our mind whether we want to use these flowers or use the things over here on this side here the picks on that side there these are the ribbons that I picked out I already cut them my favorite length for cutting uh, tails on a reef is 13 inches. I just think that is a great medium spot for um, for my tails. I just because I love to see my ribbon, so I think that's just like a perfect, perfect, perfect um, a length for me. So I picked this one out here, which has got this shimmery, shimmery to uh, shimmer the shine to it. Then I put, picked out this nice leafy uh a ribbon that's also very shimmery it has a shine to it i have this that brings out more of the gold which is what we're going to do here i know it looks more like a light gold like a champagne color to you but it's more of a yellow gold when you use it in person when you see it in person and then i have this pumpkin ribbon right here that has a gold foil on the outside so these are the ribbons that I picked out to go with this uh, reef. Now I cut nine cuts of each at 13 inches. Remember, we have 18. We need to be able to spread the ribbon around evenly. So it's nine of each because we're going to do two in each uh, uh, Chanel stem, okay? A pipe cleaner, whatever you want to call them. So I got nine cuts of these at 13. Remember, I have nine cuts of these at 20 inches, and we're gonna do 10 inch poofs with the tent with the gold foil, foil here mesh. Now, as I clean up, because I gotta move most of this off the table so we can get started. Go get your work form. You know me. I want you to do it with me. I don't want to be doing this by myself. So go get your work form. If it's a 14 inch, you know you're going to use a little less than me. It's okay. If you got an 18 inch that you've been wondering what you're going to do with, go get it. Go get it. Go get some mesh. Whatever, whatever style you want to make. If you want to do a full, you want to do a Christmas, you want to do a Halloween. Remember the styles that I show you, the method that I show you, you can use on any occasion reef. So make sure, make sure you go and get your stuff. I want you to do it with me. I don't want to be doing this reef, or doing a reef by myself. There's too many other creators out there. I want us to make it together. So let me move this up here. So while I do that and get my workspace all cleared up, I want you guys to go get your stuff and work with me. Just get in and work with me. Is everybody doing okay out there today? I hope you are. It's raining here in Canton, Georgia, so it's definitely dreary outside right now. Move my thing. 
everything out. Let's get the ribbon out the way. All right. Now, the things you're going to need for this is you're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need your rotary cutter. You're going to need your handy dandy coolest glue gun. You know, I love this thing. People say it drips. Mine don't really drip, so I don't have that, that problem with my shore binder um, cordless glue gun. Some people say they have that problem. I mean, I may get a little drip here, but and maybe a little bit, but it, it doesn't drip enough for, for me to complain about it at all or not use it. So you definitely want to need these three things here. You're going to need, of course, pipe cleaners like you see here or Chanel stems, however you call it, and you're going to need your frame. So like I explained to you earlier, I just put my pipe cleaners on, I twist it down, and then I went to the very next spot. I laid it down, pipe cleaner. Twisted it on, laid it down, went to the very next spot. Laid it down, went to the very next spot, and I went all the way around the reef. So I did the same on the inside. You see, I connected it here on the inside, and then I laid it down. When I lay it down, it came right here, and then that's where I, I attached the next pipe cleaner. I tied it down, and then I laid this down, and I went around. Came out to be 18 Chanel stems on this 18-inch wire reframe. Now we're going to do the 10-inch poofs. So let's get that started. And how I do that? Let's see, do I want to go this way or that way? Let's go. Let's go this way. How I do that is I lay it out. And then I tuck the ends under. So I know my arm may be in the way. Just give me a second. And I'll show you. And you don't even have to tuck it in this far in. But I just like to have that security to know it's, it's in maybe four inches in. So you see how I have it in. But you don't have to. You can bring it up to maybe an inch or two in. I just like it to be in a little more. And what I did. Is, and I just crunch it up in the down that middle. I give it a good pinch that way I know it's secure and I find a pipe cleaner where do I want to work do I want to work on the inside first or do I want to work on the outside first I think I'm gonna go to the inside so I'm gonna lay all these outside ties this one out of my way and I'm gonna start with this one right here it don't matter where you start at you can start on the inside or the outside it really doesn't matter so don't worry about it if it's if it's a spot you know you like oh I don't know should I do inside it really doesn't matter Remember, I said all the time, this is not rocket science. This is your art. So it doesn't have to be exact. Now, in order to secure that even more, I'm going to take a zip tie, right? And then I'm going to go around that right there. I'm going to go around it. And I'm going to attach it right here. You see how I have that? See that? pipe that that little the part of the frame right there this is where I'm attached I'm gonna go right around that and I'm gonna secure it so I'm gonna put it in real tight like this and I'm gonna secure it to the frame that way I know it won't come out okay so you find something and you don't you don't have to do this part I just like to make sure mine is secure I would suggest you do because you're gonna be pulling on this tension and you don't want that to slip out you just got it tied with this. So you just want to make it have it extra security. So you put the zip tie up there and you pull it really, really tight. You take your wire cutter. Don't use your scissors. And you cut off that excess. There you go. So this is another tool you may want to get. If you don't already have one, you can use your scissors. But know if you're cutting on that plastic with the zip ties, it's going to dull your scissors. So you're going to want to get some sort of wire cutters. They will last longer. Okay? All right. So let's get started making our poofs. Now, all of these outside Chanel stems, I'm going to lay them down so I can kind of get them out my way. I am going to get a mesh roller thing soon. So what I normally do is I take my I take my mesh and I kind of roll under the ends. You see what my hands are doing is rolling under the ends. I'm rolling under the ends and I grab it and kind of pull on it just a little bit, not too much, because I want the, the mesh to be rolled under. Right? We want that rolled under effect. Now we want 10 inch poofs. And the reason why I'm doing 10 inch poofs, because this is an 18 inch work form. So we already at 18 inches. 
when we do 10 inch poof so you're going to do a poof here you're going to come up you're going to get a pretty big reef now depending on if you do a lot of shipping you may want to bring that down to eight inches depending on how big and wide you want your reef to be i want this to be a big reef i'm going for big reef that's why i'm using the 18 inch i don't want it to look small i don't want it to look like my regular 22 and i want it to be more than 24 inches in width all the way around because i want it to be a big reef i don't make too many very large reefs so i but i do like to have a couple of them especially now that i'm doing a show next weekend i want to have a couple of big uh reefs for my show so i'm gonna do 10 inch poops so I'm going to find a spot anywhere in your, your, your mat and always make sure you have your mat. So I got 10 inches here. So I'm going to go to 20 inches here. I got to bring my hand in. There you're 20 inches. And we're going to go to the very next Chanel stem. And we're going to put it down in it. Push it down and tie it down. I'd normally go around twice. Once, twice. You don't have to do it twice. You can do it once. It's up to you. Remember, this is your art. You do it the way you want to. You're going to go to the 10 inch, go to the 20, and go around. And we're going to repeat this all the way around the work form. All the way around. Hey, I am, I, I'm just letting you know, I am so excited about this craft, the River Fest that's going to happen next weekend. I, I am so excited. I'm exhausted already and it hasn't even happened yet because I'm doing all the things to get prepared for it. So, hey, send me a heart emoji if you've ever done a craft show and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Also, send me a thumbs up. Send me a clap. If you actually have done a craft show and it's, it's, it came out great, you had a good time, you met a lot of people. Because this will be my first really big one. I've done small ones in my subdivision, but I've never done a large one to this scale ever in my business. And you all, you guys know I just started this business, so I'm a newbie. I'm a newbie to it, so I'm looking forward to it. But hey, if you've done it, let me know. Chime in and let me know, hey, what your experience was in doing it. Some was good. I know I've, I've read some people, some is good, some is bad. But hey, I like to get the variety and know what's going on, what's going on. Especially if, if, you, if you are watching this and you've done the Riverfest before. Let me know. Let me know what I should expect. <laughs> Give me some pointers, please. All right, so we go on to 10. We're going all the way around. We got a 20. And I may just do 10 on the inside, but then 12 on the outside because I want it to be a big reef. I want it to be a big reef. So we got 10. 20 all right this is very pretty mesh i love this gold i don't really get to use gold that often but this gold is gorgeous it is really gorgeous i got a friend of mine that's uh my friend of mine is uh from cherokee rose boutique and she's making tumblers and me and her were talking and she's trying to get her booth together for the show as well so she's going to be out there well. So shout out to Cherokee Rose Boutique. Can't wait to see you, girl. This weekend, we both are working hard trying to get our stuff together for the event. So that is really going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. I can't wait. I am extremely excited. All right. Now we're right back where we started, as you can see right back here where we started so we're just going to go right in that tie and you can actually open up that tie because remember we put the zip tie on it right we got the zip tie holding it so you can untie this and go right in with the tie right on top of what you put because it's not going to go anywhere because you already tied it down with the zip tie so you just want to push it down really well and then give it a good one two twist so once you do that now we've already went around on the top right and i'm i don't like to fluff, fluff mine out until i get them all up there and then i fluff some designers when they make their reefs they fluff them out as they go i kind of like to wait do my second way around and then i wait to see if i feel like i need to do like a third way around 
um so i'll i'll show that to you if i need to do that but now that we going we're going we were just on the inside so now we got to go to the outside right so what i do is i go down to the very next tie right you see me going down to the very and i just attach this to it i don't make a poof so i go down to this very next tie i pull it tight and i just attach it just like that now I know I need to get a mesh holder. I will get one eventually. I haven't ordered them. They're pretty pricey. I'm trying to save my money to get reef stuff. So eventually, would you guys help if you buy guys purchase some reefs for me? That'll give me some wiggle room to get me a mesh holder because I definitely need one. So we said the bottom one we want to do 12 inches. So let's do 12 inches. 10, 12 inches because we want some big poofs. I want this to be a big reef. All right, we go to the 12, go to the 22, go to the next tie. And if your ties move around on you, that's fine. You can glue them down if you like. Um, sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. It all depends. So, we got 10, go to 22, go to the next tie, push it down really, really good. Let me know if this is a good angle for you guys. I'm hoping it is. I'm looking at the video myself and I'm liking the angle because I can see everything. So, I'm hoping you guys can see it too. This mesh, I'm just, I just, I love the shine on it. This is just so, such a pretty, pretty mesh. So what are you guys working on? Are you guys still working on fall or have you moved on to Christmas? For you crafters out there. You moved on to Christmas or are you still making fall? I am, I guess I'm on the schedule that I can be on. Being that I'm an entrepreneur but I'm doing it all myself. Um, this is the schedule that I'm on. I'm, I'm, some people, you know, feel that I'm behind but... I'm right where I can be. It's, I'm one person and I have to do all the parts of running a business. So it takes me a little longer uh, to get things done. So when I hear people, oh, you need to already be doing this. You need to already be doing that. Well, you know, I'm one person. I'm one person. So I, I can only do what I can do when I can do it. That's, that's how that goes. Especially when it comes to the technology part because I am not tech savvy. So when it goes to making posts and posting things and trying to think of content and stuff like that, it just takes me so long to do. Posting my, my stuff on Etsy, it takes me so long to do because I'm just not tech savvy. So some people can go and do that and it takes them a half an hour and they've gotten several posts done and it takes me four hours. Hey. Like I told you, I told you guys, this is me starting my hobby, turning my hobby into a business. If there's anybody else out there in the same boat that I'm in, let me know. Send me an emoji. Send me a heart emoji. Let me know. Send me a wink. Let me know. You 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 feel my pain. You feel my pain. It's a it's a beautiful thing. Knowing that you have your business, it's your own business, and you're getting to run it the way you want to, but it is a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Because there's so many parts that go to running a business. Now let's not even get into the tax issues. Ugh! Let's, let's not even get into that, because that right there is just, ugh. You know, you got to do it, because you got to give Uncle Sam what he's due. I don't think he's do nothing, but hey, that's just my personal opinion. But that ain't how he feels. All right. All right, so I think we're on the last one. We're where we started at again. So let me clear this little area up so you can see where we at. So we made it around the top and the bottom, and we're 
right back where we attached that see when we came up from the came from the top and came down to the bottom so we're just gonna go right down into the zip tie right here we're not gonna untwist it we're gonna go right down this zip tie right here I'll open it up we're not gonna untwist it just open it up go right down in that zip tie push your mesh down and give it a good twist now I'm gonna leave this attached because I want to see I'm now I'm gonna open up my mesh I'm gonna open up the middle and how I open it up is just I go on the inside that's all I do is take my hands on the inside you, you don't do it too rough because you don't want to cause a hole in it or anything you go on the inside and you just open it up on the inside now you can do it any which way you want to this is just how I do it I kind of let that inside overlap a little bit give me a little bit better coverage you can't see my frame so much but remember we got mesh to put on this as well so this is not all that's going on this right now we have mesh that's going to be here as well so you just take your time fluff it out make sure not to be too rough with it because you don't want to put a hole in it this mesh is pretty good quality mesh, so I'm able to tug on it a little bit without it feeling like it's going to rip or anything on me. Depending on what type of mesh you get, remember you gotta, you know, you can't be tugging on it too much because you cause it to start fraying and you cause it, if not fraying, you're pulling it too hard, you get a hole. You make a hole in your mesh. You don't want to make a hole in your mesh. So just you know feel it you know just know because you don't want it to look all snagged either this is really pretty pretty mesh so I want to really show off this foil see that beautiful foil these stripes I just love that got to pull it out a little bit take your time remember this is your art take your time there's no need to rush be patient with it because of course it's clinging to each other so it's not quite pulling out like it needs to but just take your time be patient with it you eventually make your way around and make sure you get under there and you pull it out because it's, it, it, remember you twisted it under, so you twist the mesh under, so it's going to be tucked under. So you got to take your time and pull it back out. That's what I'm doing with this one right here. It's a little it's tucked in under real tight. I think we made our way around the, the bottom. Hold on, I think this one right here. But this gold foil is really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to find more stuff to do gold with gold foil. Look at that. Look at that. You see the coverage on that? Look at the coverage on that. Look at the coverage on that. Now, once we put this foil in between, look at that. That gold, that orange, that brown. Oh my goodness. That's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Because it's going to match the sign like perfectly. So now we want to fluff up the outside. We want to do the same exact thing. I think I am happy with this. I don't I don't need to do an extra row because you see how it's fitting in and this coverage. You see that just with that right there. And then once you put the foil in that foil there, you do the cruffle method, it's going to fill up any gaps. So let me just get ahead and cut this off. So let me show you how I do that. I always leave a tail, right? So I go out about maybe maybe four inches, four or five inches, whatever you feel comfortable with doing, right? Whatever you feel comfortable with doing. Hey, we gotta find something else to do with this gold mesh right here. Use it as an accent some way, definitely, because this mesh here is gorgeous. So what I do is I take this and I tuck it under, tuck it under my mesh. And I will attach it to my work frame. See, I'll pull the, pull the frame over so you can see it. Now you see this bar right here? 
This is where I will take a zip tie, make it a zip tie, and I will attach it to the frame right there where that bar is. And the reason why I do that is because this is the end of it, right? So we want to make sure it's attached and it doesn't come loose. So you pull it real tight, you know it won't come loose. You take your wire cutters. Remember, use your wire cutters, not just your uh, scissors. Every now and then I forget and I use my scissors. That's a no-no. So you got it. It's attached. You're good to go. You don't have to worry about it coming off. All right, so let's finish fluffing the outside. Then we can get to doing some cruffles. This will take you a minute to do to run through and get all fluffed out. But as you're looking down and you see, it's got great, great coverage. Yeah, there's some empty little spots you see in between. But remember, we're putting um, cruffles with that beautiful orange and, and brown and neutral uh, mesh. And I think I got all, well, this mesh I know I bought Mm, when it was on sale at um, Joann's last year because I have a bunch of it and I hadn't used it when I bought it last year I didn't use it so but this was on sale you know I don't know if you you guys are familiar but you go sometimes when you go into Joann's they have that um, that display like right in the front and everything is in sale that's is it that's for Everything inside of it is for sale. And that's why I got this beautiful gold mesh. Can you imagine? Can you imagine this beautiful gold mesh was in there? Ooh. I made sure I snagged them all up. I didn't know what I was going to be using it for. But I snagged them all up when I found them. So when you go into Joann's, you look for that container in the front of the store. You know, when things are about to be out of season. Because they'll have them on a great sale. And you, you're pushing down the mesh in the first row. It's okay. You can fluff it back up. Because you got to stick your hands in here. You got to get under. So you're going to push down that poof that's in the middle. But it's okay. Because you just fluff it right back up. It's fine. Because you're going to push it down when you put your other mesh up here anyway. So. But you just want to give it a little poof. You got to train it. And let, you know, let it know where you want it to go. I think we've made our way all the way around. Look at that. Beautiful coverage. All right. Now, what I want to do with this mesh, this mesh and this mesh, is I want to alternate. Okay? So one was going to go here. This is going to go on the next. Remember, this was leftover mesh. So I didn't have a full roll on either one of them. And if you want to know how to use up your mesh, this is what you do. If you don't have a full roll on your mesh, you mix it up. This is the same colors. It's just made a little different. Same color so you can use them. It will be perfectly fine. So what I do is I roll it in. Let me just use my scissor to hold this in down here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. I just take it and do a roll. One roll. Two roll three roll and then I attach my clip now this has tucked in those raw ends so it stops with some of the frame because you see it's like a little little circle so you've got that raw end that phrase tucked in and that's what you want okay that's what you want so you take it matter of fact this mesh is a little got some straggler pieces hanging on and that happens you just cut it off so you take it and you got the roll so you roll it under once, you go twice, you go three times. Now when I get to that third time, I then cruffle. That's the ruffle part, right? And now we have our nice little bow tie. Now, normally I put this in this way, which I think that's what I'm going to do again this way because I want it to pop. 
or you can lay it down like this and then flip it up that way matter of fact you know what that's what i'll do i like that so instead of you having it up i gotta find my sh okay there you go instead of you putting it down with the open side the curl open side turn it over and put it down like this so then when it comes when it gets in there it's like this see I, once i push it down into the mesh it's going to set up like this so we put this here you push it down and you start anywhere once again anywhere you want to and there you go so we did that one we want to move on to the next one and you do this all the way around remember these are cut at 20 inches long and I cut them at 20 inches long so we can have a knife enough room to curl these ends in and still have a nice uh, bunch of material that we can ruffle to make a pretty uh, ruffle so we just curl it under one two three we take the little your little ch chip clip or whatever you want to use your clothes pin whatever you want to use to hold it and that goes three and then you cruffle it you make the ruffle and then you turn it upside down because remember we want this side and then we want to go to the next one and we're going to do this all the way around and that's going to give us really good coverage any of those little holes we thought we saw it will cover those holes right up cover those holes right up don't forget when you check in make sure you say hi let me know you're checking in let me know where you're checking in from if you're watching a replay hit replay i want to know trust me i have all of my social media where you can see my video i have it set up where i can get all comments so whenever you watch my video just let me know you're watching a replay let me know where you're watching from let me know you know what kind of crafts you do let me know who you are I definitely i would love to meet you say hi Thank you for watching my video, of course. So if you're watching, let me know. We're going to go to the next one. And like I said, we're going to do this all the way around. That is looking so pretty. I love that gold that's the background. And then when you put the ribbon tails and oof the colors are just gonna pop I'm gonna tuck it under one that's the third one take the clip tuck it under and that's the third one and then you want to ruffle it to you You want to make sure when you put it push it down when you put it in here you push it down make sure you give it a good tug okay and you push it all the way down you don't want it to be loose so you want to keep it pushed down when you put it in okay i have so much halloween stuff that i need to make ladies and gentlemen oh my goodness but i just don't have enough time it's just me i'm one person i can't get it all done so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get them done for the craft event for the Riverfest this Saturday and Sunday, September 25th and 26th at Etowah Park. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done. I'm going to try to get at least some of them done. Um, most of my uh, Halloween that I did last year sold immediately. And I just sold one, matter of fact, uh, two weeks ago to a young lady. She got my skull one that was on my Etsy. She purchased that one. So I really only have like one or two left, really only one left um, that I have for sale, really. So I need to make some more Halloween, but I just, I don't, I don't know what I'm able to do, ladies. Just, I don't know. It's just me. I, I got to figure out how to get all of this done being one person trying to get it all done and remember nothing has to be perfect it don't have to be exact 
you know so if you cut your mesh at 18 inches and not not 20 it's no big deal it's okay okay you know some people you know have a heart attack oh she said 18 and you know 20 inches i couldn't get 20 it's okay it is absolutely all right when you check in make sure you say hello let me know you checking in i see somebody checking in say hello so i know you're checking in you're watching me And when you're doing your your cruffles, I guess that's what they call these. Um, if you want to make the curl a little more, then you can. So if you want to go make, you know, instead of going around three times, you want to go around four times because you just want a nicer curl, you can do that. Remember, you make your arch your own, okay? You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing, but you can make it your own. Because some people like to have the curl, you know, a better curl. So if you want to do that, you go over a little more. It's okay. It's fine. I always say this is not rocket science. And remember, this is your business. So you do it the way you want to, right? You don't have to answer to nobody. You make it the way you want to make it. You get an idea and then you go from there. That's the beautiful thing about art. You get inspired by something or someone, and then you take that inspiration and you make something with it. That's what doing make reef making just makes it so beautiful to me. Because you can see something that somebody else have have made or designed, and then you just run with it. Use your imagination. You know, they may have like somebody may have used like the pumpkin color mesh, you know, and did like a dark chocolate, you know, or did the gold ruffles. It, you can make it any way you want to. Let your imagination run wild. Also, you could have did the green mesh. If you have like that mossy green color mesh, shoot, throw that in there. You know that's full. That is full. You can use that. Is that uh, Miss Gills? Gillis? Jacqueline? Is that right? Am I saying that for Mississippi? All right now. Thank you for checking in for Mississippi. Oh, how are you guys doing down there, matter of fact? Oh, my goodness. Are you okay? Is everybody good? Because I have been getting rain back to back, back to back. Had Ida come through. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. You and your family uh, wound up coming through that okay. But thank you for checking in with me. I'm making a full reef as you can see today. Okay. We're rolling on through this. We're rolling on through this. I like mixing the two different mesh. They're, they're similar, but they're different. So I really like that. And to tell you, be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, this is my first time doing this. My first time mixing a mesh like this. I normally always have everything uniform. Um, you know, use the same color throughout. But hey, I wasn't going to the store and buying anything new. I wanted to use it what I had. So this is what I have. So this is what I wanted to use up. And this was mesh that was left over. And I need to use up the mesh. You crafters out there know what I'm talking about. Especially when it comes to making reefs. You can accumulate so much mesh really, really quick. So what's that? You guys are doing fine. Are you a bl Yes. Thank God you were blessed. Thank God you were blessed. Because you guys have been getting rained out. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you for watching.
just to give a recap of what we're doing today this is a fall reef I will show the sign in a couple of minutes let me just finish these rolls here and it is on an 18 inch Dollar Tree wire frame so they do have 18 inches at um, some Dollar Trees so if you in interested you can check your Dollar Tree and see if they have them but it's an 18 inch one I was surprised when I saw it in my in my Dollar Tree so I made sure I snatched 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 up just about all of them I don't like doing that but hey I had to do it this time and then we have gold 21 inch mesh that we did on the inside ring 10 inch poofs and on the outside ring we did it at 12 inch poofs okay so the outside ring is 12 inch poofs the inside ring is 10 inch poofs and this is the gold foil 21 inch mesh then we cut like this mesh and this mesh here at 20 inches and we did nine cuts of each because we have 18 Chanel stems on our 18 inch wire work form that we got from the Dollar Tree and you'd have to watch the beginning of the video to see how I put my uh, Chanel stems on but they all covered up now girl can't show it can't show it to you but I have showed you in videos in the past how I put my Chanel stems on so it's the same way I think I get good coverage when I do that um, so I do it that way almost all the time I try other mesh methods but they seem to have too many holes it's too spaced out for me I like to have a very full covered uh, reef so you guys I'm just doing this ruffle this little curl here at the end just trying to tuck in those raw ends trying to minimize the fray but no when you deal with mesh you're gonna have fray so don't think that you're not going to have any fray like look at this this is this fray it's, it's going fray you can minimize it that's why I'm doing the curls on each end and then the ruffle down the middle hey Stephanie thanks for checking in girl appreciate you make sure you share the video so Ms. Jacqueline, if you if you still watching, share the video if you can. Share the love, please. That it just helps the algorithm. It's help them show my video. Help my business get out there. I need all the help I can get. But you guys help me out. I greatly appreciate it. Share it with your family and friends. Tell them to come on and comment. curling the ends and then doing a ruffle okay and these are cut at 20 inches long okay and I do that so I do have enough mesh to do that curl at the end and have a nice ruffle I'm just loving that coverage look at that you see absolutely no holes now ladies and gentlemen you see that any holes that we did see they're completely gone now once we fill it in once we fill it in we get no holes next Chanel stem here and put this down in there and remember when you push it in there you're gonna push you're gonna push it down so you can get a good tie in there right so you know it's secure you want to make sure it's secure you got like four maybe four more to go and we didn't be done with this part so how is everybody's Monday? Is it today Monday or is it Tuesday? I didn't lost track of days. But how's everybody's day going? I hope it's going good. 
here in Kansas, Georgia, it's raining. So it's been raining all weekend. Still raining. But I did look at the weather and it's supposed to be good this weekend for the River Fest at Edible Park. And that's where I will be at showcasing my reefs in person. So I hope you guys can come and check me out. There will be a lot of reefs that's not on my Etsy that I will have on display because I j I'm like I explained earlier, I am the owner of this business and I'm the only one doing everything in this business. So I'm I'm not going to have enough time to do all the creation of the reefs plus putting them all on social media and getting staged and set up for this event uh, this Friday and Saturday. So all of my new creations will not make it to Etsy. But hey, you guys come see me on Saturday and Sunday. You'll get to see them in person. You'll get to buy them, purchase them before I place them on my Etsy. For the ones that couldn't make the show. Couldn't make the festival. And it's supposed to be a gorgeous weekend, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure y'all come out. Support all your local crafters. It's supposed to be a really good event. You give it a push down really well and you give it a good twist. I normally twist it twice. You don't have to. You can just twist it once, but I like to twist it twice. Remember, we tuck it in. We do that one, two, three. Do the clip. We go one, two, three, and then we do the ruffle. All right, we turn it upside down and we put it in. I hope this view is good for you guys. Hope it will it's good for you guys. I'm trying to make sure I can show you the best view. Hey, Stefan, thank you for checking in with me. Appreciate you. Okay, you said you will be there. Oh, looking for a Philadelphia Eagle Reef. reef. I, I think I can do that. I may be able to do that. I was just thinking I need to do some sports reefs. So that's Philadelphia Eagles. I'm going to see if I can get that done. If I can't, if I can't do it for the show, you know, I'll, I'll hook you up later, Stefan. You know that. Thank you for checking in, though. All right, this is our last one. Last one. We want to tuck this, those ends and give it a curl. We want to go one, this, that's the three, and then we want to ruffle. Pinch it together, flip it over, and then we're going to stick it down into the reframe. All right look at this ladies and gentlemen look at this look at that all right let me get that sign so y'all can just see how good this looks look at that is that not a perfect pair or what look at that beautiful you got the dark brown bringing out the dark brown the pumpkin color you got the gold with the gold trim it's just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous absolutely all right so let's get some tails in remember we have this the stripe fall colors then we got the fall leaves then after the fall leaves we have the gold fall ribbon with the gold pumpkin ribbon okay so this is what we have know that this gold is yellow gold I know you're probably seeing it and it looks more of a light champagne color but it is a yellow full gold it matches this gold right here that's in our poofs okay so we're gonna start putting these in and I put these two together and then these two together but then we have the gold and the burgundy gold and the burgundy we'll have it all mixed in there and we just want to cut any little straggler pieces that we see do a quick check and just I just want to show you guys 
look at that there is no empty hole spaces there is no so if you was concerned about that there's no need to be concerned look at that beautiful beautiful coverage remember this is the 18 inch wire reform thank you Jacqueline it looks great with the sign right now let's put these ribbon tails in it's really gonna look good with that sign remember this is on 18 inch wire reform that we got from that I got from the Dollar Tree so make sure you hit up your Dollar Tree it has 18 Chanel stems of pipe cleaners on the form okay you have to watch the beginning so you can see how I put those up there then we use a 21 inch foil mesh we did the poof style where we did 10 inch mess mess poofs on the inside so we did 10 inch poofs on the inside and we did 12 inch poofs on the outside okay so 12 inch on the outside 10 inch poofs on the inside then we have the mesh which is one that's a darker brown and orange and neutral like a burlap and we did this at nine cuts at at uh, 20 inches and then we did the next color which is another orange burlap and brown and we did this nine cuts at 20 inches and we did every other every other all the way around okay that would make 18 so we finished doing that now we're going to go with the ribbon tails so we're getting with that right there ribbon tails let's start oh and i wanted to show you how i dovetail you see how that is dovetail the ends of my ribbon tails so I left this one so I can show you. Normally when you cut your ribbon, it's flat, as you can see. It's flat. I love this ribbon too. This is very thick, thick, like burlap type material ribbon. And it's real I love how this ribbon feels. But it's like this. So we want to dovetail that. So this is how we dovetail it. You take the ribbon, get your scissors. We want to fold it over. So you just fold it over and you meet the ends. So you fold it over you see how i did that i just folded it over you meet the ends and now you want to cut from this in, this curved side right here to the outside so you want to make a diagonal cut like that so you take your scissors and you make a diagonal cut there you go and you have the dovetail do it on the other side you got this look right now you want to make a dovetail some I say dovetail your ribbon you fold it you go from this folded end to the outside and you do it on a diagonal you cut it open it back up there you go there you go your dovetail so I've done that on all of my ribbons so that's already done so we just put our ribbons together size them up they don't have to be exactly even don't worry about that I just do a little crease at the bottom put it on the table because I just like to secure it down the table it's no rhyme or reason and then I just find a spot to put it down in and I'm gonna go on the inside first because I just am I think that it keeps you from because you're pushing down and it keeps this but you can go on the outside it don't matter it's up to you whatever you want to do I like to open my ribbon tails up and put them on a diagonal and just run my hands under them and we go to the next one which is the leaf and this beautiful together look at that beautiful and just even them up they don't have to be perfect you scrunch it where is where the little crease is and you just stick it down into the very next open Chanel stem push it down remember you want to push it down give it a good twist and then I just like to open mine up and we go we just do this all the way around do this all the way around so y'all like the ribbon how do y'all think the ribbon looks you think that was a good idea putting most of the gold and gold together or do you think I should have separated it I had it separate but then I kind of like having the gold on gold and the maroon on maroon so but let me know what you guys think I love the pumpkin one because the sign has a pumpkin 
on it so I thought having some sort of pumpkin ribbon would really really be nice and remember you make this your own so if you got other type of ribbon you know you any type of fall ribbon will do fall is a very forgiving season nothing has to fully match it just has to have the colors in it really to be honest with you it just has to have the colors in it if you have the fall colors it'll blend in it'll be beautiful it will absolutely be beautiful I just pull it out a little bit so I can get great coverage. You're gonna mess with your ribbon. I'm I'm a ribbon messer. Like I will be fluffing, fluffing, fluffing my bows and my ribbons. I can do that for hours. So okay. What'd you say? I love the ribbon. Where did you get the wide burlap ribbon from? The wide burlap ribbon. Hold on, let me see. The one with the leaves, is that what you're talking about, Miss Jacqueline? Jacqueline, is that is that the one you're talking about? Talking about the one with the the leaves? Because that's the one that's got more that's the burlap one. Um, tell you the truth, let me see. Where did that come from? Let me see if I can remember. Because this ribbon I didn't just buy. If you're talking about this ribbon here. I think this one um, came from, I think it's Walmart. Walmart or my, I'm, I'm not sure. I think it's Walmart that I may have gotten this ribbon. Uh, celebrate, I'm trying to think, what store does the Celebrate come from? Anybody else out there know? Um, is it, I can't, I, I gotta wait, wait for it to come back to me. It, it'll come back to me exactly where where I where I was able to get it from. Just give me a second, Jacqueline. Let me let me think on that a minute. Cause I think that's um uh I'm sorry, Michaels. It's probably Michaels. Because that's a really really nice ribbon. I'm I'm thinking that's Michaels, yes. That's Michaels. That's where I got that from. I think it's Michaels, Jacqueline, not not Walmart because that's really this is really good ribbon. I mean really good stiff ribbon you see that it's like really stiff I love it it holds the shape really well and I think it was Michaels I think it was Michaels because um Michaels had a whole stack of these beautiful floral ribbons I don't know if you're familiar with Michaels but when they have them on sale they have them on the end caps and that's the flat part before you go down the aisle so they have them on the end caps and they were for sale so this was at Michaels yes now I remember I told you give me a second it'll come back to me It'll come back to me. But it was at Michael's. And I should have brought more because I really love this stiff, stiff ribbon. I really love it. I mean, it really keeps its shape really well. Okay. Coverage on this is just, oh my goodness. I, I'm in love with this love with this but the dilemma is ladies and gentlemen is do I use the florals that I showed you earlier or do I just use some leaves and the pine cones I don't know I'll show you the florals in a second let me let me just do this let me finish this top row and then I'm gonna pull out the florals and I'm gonna have you guys help me decide which one I want to use or I should use okay because I really love the florals but you want to know what I can make a whole new wreath with those florals on a grapevine but I can actually use them on this one Ugh, I'm torn I'm torn you guys you guys gotta help me out so I'm gonna show you let me just get through I think I got two more to put here at the top and then I'll show you the florals and I'll put the sign up there and show you guys see if you guys can help me decide <clears throat> and you make sure when you put your ribbon tails down you push it down give it a good twist okay 
you want to make sure that's secure in there and it's not going to be popping off or out when you pull on it when you go to fix your ribbon right you want it to be secure so and you just even out your ribbon make a little crease and making a little crease is just my thing you you may not have to do that I, I just need a little crease so I can have a guide of where I need to do my little pinch and where I need to when I place it down into my mesh. You may not have to do that. I do. So let's do it this way. Okay. And if you wind up with matter of fact i'm gonna have to take one of these pumpkins off the top because i ran out of pumpkin i'm gonna be one short at the bottom but that'll be where i put my sign at so that's another thing i wanted to let you guys see if you run out of, of ribbon tails and you know you're going to put a sign wherever you run out the ribbon tail at that's where you put your sign so nobody will ever know okay let me show you the florals let me get the sign so we have the sign now check out these florals check that out what do you guys think you guys think I should just put this floral up here because it matches like perfectly let me see yeah matter of fact I should do it from this side do like a big juicy bow here with this sign add some pumpkins in you know pumpkins here with these beautiful pine cones spread throughout at the end should I do something like that so take a look disregard this the spikes because you're not going to see that but that's the florals I'm going to spread it out that will be the floral look right so take a look that's the floral look so I'm going to pull it down so you can see it in the whole screen so that's the floral look putting the floral here I put a bow like right here right put the sign over to the side where it is and then we got a pumpkin here we got a pumpkin here we got these beautiful rhinestone acorns that we can just glue in all throughout so that's what I'm thinking this style here for one take right so take that in that's beautiful so then we take this off we still use the pumpkins, still use the acorns, but we come in, we do maybe one bow up here with that sunflower in the center. We do a second bow here with this flower in the center, right? We do some two pumpkins here. We do the acorns or we do these acorns and have some leaves. So we have leaves sticking out, leaves sticking out all throughout. We have it placed with some acorns. So we have the leaves and the acorns sticking out all throughout. And then we got the pumpkins and we'll have two bowls. We'll do two bowls, a big chunky bow here, do a smaller bow here. But what we'll do instead of having a center, we'll use these flowers as the center of the bow. We'll place these flowers these two flowers here as the center of the bow and they will anchor or we don't have to do a bow we can just have it dressed up like this put the acorns here put the leaves in the and the leaves in the pine um, the leaves in these acorns all throughout and we don't even have to do a bow so these leaves will be all throughout which i think it'll be beautiful put with the acorns these two sunflowers right here anchoring the sign with the pumpkins anchoring the other the other corners and just the leaves and the acorns all throughout what do you guys think let me know take a look take a look this is the second look so take a look you really can't see it with the leaves sticking out but just look at these leaves these are big beautiful leaves and they're going to be sticking out I say if you didn't see that and you just saw the leaves sticking out and they're going to be all over, sticking out all over with the pine cones. So let me know what you think. We still got to put uh, ribbon tails on the, on the lower end of this wreath. 
So I will go back to finishing up that. And you guys weigh in for me. Let me know what you think. You think I need to just do the one piece that's the floral? Or should I just have some leaves sticking out with the pumpkins and, and do it that way with this beautiful sign? I can do it with bowls, without bowls. Let me know what y'all think. Okay, Jacqueline, you like number one. So you like it with that big, the big floral stem. So you like it with the big floral stem up at the top. Big floral stem with the sign here and a bow here. Okay, all right. Well, we just may have to do that. I don't know. Let's, let's finish putting in our, our uh, ribbon tails and let's see. Let's see what everybody else say. Let's see if everybody, when everybody else chime, chime in and we'll see. Where we go from there. I like those florals too, Jacqueline. Oof. That was that was a good 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 choice when I found those. And I think I got those florals at Hobby Lobby. And and they're every year at Hobby Lobby. You know, for fall for fall time. They're they're at Hobby Lobby. So if you want to go buy those, they have them every year at Hobby Lobby. And we're just starting on the bottom now, putting in our ribbon tails. I'm spreading them apart, running my hands underneath to just give them a little shape. You want to do this over and over again because as you, if I put in the leaves, I got to mess with it. Even if I put in the, the floral pick, I'm still going to flatten it out. I'm going to have to fluff it back up again. So... Just fluffing it out that's all I'm doing and I'm a little off camera but because it's getting it's down here at the bottom but I'm just doing the same as I did on the top I'm evening out my ribbon tails folding them over getting them sort of even like I, they don't have to be perfect I do a little crease that's just for me to know where I need to gather it and then stick it down into my available Chanel stem Okay, and when I put it in there, I push it down, give it a good twist, and then I open them up. And that's why you got to make sure when you put it down in and give it a good twist, it's a good twist because you see how I'm, I'm pulling it open. I don't want the ribbon tails to come out. Okay, so you want to make sure you get that good and tight in there. That way you don't have to worry about it going anywhere. Wait a minute, I'm short more than one. Okay, so I have to figure something out. The ones on the inside, I'll pull on the outside. All right. how I'm pulling on that just why you got to make sure they're secure so you can get a good tug on it all right now that's my last pumpkin with the gold foil unfortunately I thought I had another roll I don't so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take from up here and put it down here because this is what's going to be seen up here is not going to be seen because I will be putting the sign here, somewhere in here, so I'll be able to cover one or two of them and I can get away with it. I want y'all to know about that little secret. So if you run out of something, use your sign or your floral stem, or whatever you have to cover that spot that you ran out of ribbon in and nobody will know because it's gonna be under your sign or under your floral. It's not gonna be seen anyway. So you don't have to really worry about it but you do want to worry about the outside so what you do is you take from the inside to cover the outside now if i didn't have any other sign or any florals anything going in then i would have to worry about it absolutely 
because then I would have to go and find another ribbon somewhere that can fill in for that spot or just finish and you also can just finish with the ribbon that you have like I have no more pumpkin right but I still have these ribbons here you can just finish with that ribbon no one is going no one is going to know the wiser besides you so if you just want to go in cut a couple more of these and fill it in you can just do that so no if you run out of ribbon it's not the end of the world it is okay there's a way to get around it okay I remember the first time I ran into that I panicked I was like oh my god it's not gonna look right it's gonna be off it's not you know don't worry about it you can fix it you can definitely fix it all right my husband just came home so if y'all hear any thumping because I'm in a basement that's him just walking around upstairs Okay, so we can, so I would need one, two, three. So what we're going to do is we're just going to finish up with these here. And then we'll probably cut some more. And finish up with them. I may move. I'm going to skip that one. And I may move some from the inside so this is a good training training for you guys showing you how it will work out either way so okay but we're just going to finish with the ribbon tails that we do have and then we'll know what we have left to work with right so i skip this one i'm gonna skip this one and i'm gonna go to this one here actually started with the wrong one but that's okay because if I had started with that one then I would have enough all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pumpkin from here on the inside we're gonna take this one from here and whatever we do we just got to cover that that piece this area right here we'll cover it and if that's where we put our floral pick that's where we put our floral pick and it'll be covered up nobody will know we move it down here because this is where we need our coverage it's down at the bottom on the outside So what we're going to do is we're going to cut two more of this one and this one to fill in the gap. And that's it. You just, just fill in and finish it up with the ribbon that you do have. Nobody know the wiser. It'll be fine. Because if we do picks, you're not going to know. You do the sign, the sign will cover that. So it'll cover this spot and that spot when we put the sign on. So we can actually take this one out too. And then we just need to cut one. Okay? So that's how we do this. That's how you cover it up. It always works when you have a sign or a floral pick that you can cover up an area that you had to do a little change, change around with your reef now I don't have to leave that empty I can cut some more of these and just fill them in and I may just do that because you really don't want to leave a spot empty even though it's going to be covered up you can because nobody's going to see it because when you put the sign here look at that can you tell it was no ribbon there absolutely not it's so everything else is so beautiful you don't even know anything about that you as a designer know but your customers won't know and it's not really a flaw because really I'm wasting this ribbon here because it's not being seen at all see 
once I put this on, it's not being seen. So really, in actuality, I can have no ribbon right here at all because that's what my sign is going to be, right? So it's absolutely okay if you don't have anything right there. It's absolutely okay. Because I have done that several times and I realized I was, oh, wow, I, the sign is, you know, I, I can use that ribbon somewhere else. I'm just going to cut two more of these. So I'm just cut two more of these. And then cut, remember I cut mine at 13 inches. So these are cut at 13 inches. We're going to move this up out the way. I'm going to do a quick cut of these two at 13 inches and I just line them up together and just roll them out to 13 inches. Line them on top of each other. Go to my 13 inch mark on my board which is right here. Cut and that's done. And I like to hold my ribbon with a loose rubber band not a tight one. So these rubber bands are pretty loose. So it doesn't put too many creases in my ribbon. A lot of people don't like that, but all the straight pins, sometimes I don't go through a thick ribbon. So it's, it's kind of frustrating to me. A rubber band, it fits each and every time. So we want to dovetail these. Remember, we got the straight edge. So we want to dovetail them. So we just fold it over. Like I showed you or earlier, you fold it over and you cut from the folded end to the outside. You do the same on the other side. You fold it over. You cut from the folded end to the outside on a diagonal. And there you go with your dovetail. See? Both sides of dovetail. So we want to do it on this ribbon here. You fold it in. Cut it on a diagonal. You turn it over. You fold it in. I love this ribbon. It's so nice and thick. And you cut on a diagonal. And you have your dovetail okay we're gonna use this ribbon we're gonna put it right in that little empty spot here at the bottom and there you go your ribbon tail your ribbon tails rubbing your ribbon tails are done they're done Ms. Jacqueline said that she liked the floral pick with the rhinestone pine cones and the pumpkins and a bow. So, okay, we'll go with that then. What you do when you get your picks, you want to fluff them out a little bit because they're stiff. They were laying flat somewhere. So you just, you know, give them a little life. You pull them out a little bit. You know, separate them. You know, make them look, you know, realistic because you don't want it to look all staged. So I'm thinking right in there, we have a harvest sun right here right we can bring it down a little bit because the pit can cover that area there i don't have a ribbon as a matter of fact i have a loose ribbon here somewhere and i need to put that in there or did i use it i think i used it oh here it is i can actually put this in there we can just take this one ribbon tail and put it in there Just fluff it out because I still had it so we have this and it's all fluffed out looking good right it's all fluffed out looking good I have to pick here we're gonna put the sign right here let's see what that looks like what do you guys think we're gonna put a bow right here okay 
and we have to think about the bow that we want to use I think I want to get a green I don't know if I want to have the bow directly across or do I want have the harvest sign down just a little bit more and have the bow, bow more here have it going more across the top coming down to the sign and we do a nice chunky bow right there I think that's it I think that's the look right there hmm and we could do pumpkins and do two pumpkins here down on this end and this is just showing you how you just you just figure out how you want your stuff to be right this is how you figure out how you want stuff to be or you can bring this sign down further have a pumpkin up here have a pumpkin to the side here and you have your bow right here and your pumpkins will be nestled in there and have your bow okay all right let's work on making a bow if you watch my my videos before I love the easy bow making love 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 I do have to run and go get some other ribbon because I'm running out of ribbon so my craft room is right next door and the door next door we have to get these pretty pine cones so I can use some of these I love these pine cones what do you guys think I love these glittery pine cones they're so pretty so we got to pull those out so we can use those we put them over here let me run and get the green ribbon be right back So we got these color ribbons I want to add in to this I also want to add in this shiny white ribbon right here to match this I don't know if you can see whether you see the glitter I know the light is in the way which is shiny and shimmery and I have this white shiny shimmery ribbon here so I'm going to use that to bring out that white okay I like to have one of my one of my uh, ribbons that's going to be in my bow I like it to have a pop so that white is going to be my pop of color so I think I'm going to start I like the yellow definitely like the green because these are floral colors and it matches with this obviously of course and all the other colors so those are just going to bring out the main colors that's already in here so the, the yellow and the green is just beautiful accent colors so for this I want a six, six inch bow but my tails are going to be maybe my tails will be eight inches and I'm going to do a fairly big bow I'm going to do a six inch bow six inch bow And you want to make sure you poof out your 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 bow when you put it so you know if it's going to be six inches if you're not sure you bring your two in, your two tails up together and you can tell this one for some reason is always large on that side i don't know why it always comes out that way but it does so always have to measure and that's about the same side size so then i cut that take this off we can put in this one here and you may be saying well Katrina you didn't start with the two and a half inch you don't have to you don't have to you really don't have to at all so now you just measure your rest of your bows on top of your last bow 
especially if you want them all the same size. That's what you do. You don't have to worry about the numbers anymore. You just measure across that one. And I'm just doing a quick bow with this one. I don't know the name of it. I'm just putting some loops in here. I'm not really worrying about it. We're going to put a little green here. And we're just putting colors together. We know they all go together. So you just you're just putting the colors together. I love this easy bow maker because it just holds everything nicely. It just holds all your ribbon together as you make your bow. It does work its way loose a little bit because I've had to re-glue this twice. So if somebody out there that know how I can get it where it don't come unglued, I greatly appreciate it. Let me know. Because so far I, I have not figured that part out. some white in here I should have put some white in here already but that's all right it's a bow we make it the way we need to I may pull some of this out and put a white in in between here somewhere to give it that pop of color that I wanted to have all right so let me add some white in here and I think I'm going to pull two of these rows out and do a white and let me show you guys I'm pulling from this green I'm gonna take this out I'm gonna hold it together and I'm gonna take my little chip clip and I'm gonna put it like that so I'm gonna show you what happens if you forget something it's okay remember this is your art it's okay you can go back, you can fix it. Nothing was glued in, nothing was cemented in, nothing was nailed in. You can fix it. This is that little pop of color because you wouldn't be, you wouldn't expect the shimmery white. This is that little pop of color. So now we want to take the ribbon tails that we had and we want to stick them right back in there. That's all you're doing. Stick it right back in there. Fold them like they need to be folded. There you go. I think I want to add another white like I said this is the pop of color now I'm going to start decreasing my size and my bow so we're going to make this a little shorter than the rest and instead of doing a full six inch we're going to come in to maybe five so we're going to come in like an inch in from the bow just an inch on either side And this mesh, this um, ribbon is a little stiff, so you have to work with it a little bit. I forgot to add the other. Okay, but <clears throat> I'm coming with this one, and this is the two and a half inch. And you make it the same size as the white one that you just put down in here. That's all you do. You just follow suit. I'm thinking that's all I need. I like this leafy one to be on the top and you got the white 
that give it that pop like right behind it. Look at that. And then you got all the accent colors that go with it. That's behind it. I like that. Right? I like that. All right, so let me show you how I get it off. And then we're going to try to wrap this up. And I will... <clears throat> What colors we have there? We can do. And this is how I do it. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. I take a zip tie and I slide it underneath the whole bow. Normally I do this before I put the bow up there. But as you can see, see the zip ties underneath the whole bow. You make sure you pull all your, your bow up and you put the then I stick this in between these two sticks here underneath the whole bow, but on top of the zip tie. So when I close it, this is closed inside the zip tie. So I pick up the bow a little bit and I stick the Chanel stem. So now see here go the Chanel stem is underneath the bow, but it's on top of the zip tie. So I grab each end of the zip tie hold down the bow and I'll start closing up the zip tie now you don't need to cinch it up <clears throat> too tight in the beginning you flip it over you see there's an indent here that's where the two poles were you want your zip tie to fit right into that indent because that was the center of your bow right so you got it there then you can pull your zip tie this piece to the back and even start tightening it up a little bit try to make sure your ribbon stays on top of each other don't tighten it all the way just tighten it up enough where it's secure and what I do is I start fluffing this is when I start fluffing I grab the Chanel stem see because now see you got your two pieces of Chanel stem that you can hold on to as well as the zip tie because remember you still got to tighten that up it's not tightened all the way and now you want to start fluffing out your bow so we got one yellow up here we're going to take the other yellow and come to the bottom and this is just how I do it you do not have to do it this way it's just a guide I got a green up here I'm gonna have a green down here at the bottom right I like to alternate so we got a white right here we have this multicolor one here and we're going to take the other side for the multicolor and we're going to go to the bottom right so we have this one here which is that gold foil we pull it up to the top we take the gold foil here and we pull it to the bottom the first white we put it here and we got the multicolor here so we have them all fluffed out we got this white that's right here the whites are going to be close to each other and that's fine we want the white to be in, inside of this pumpkin color just so this is how we want the bow to look we got all the colors showing okay nice and full right we're going to take these tails and we're going to dovetail them but we don't have to do that right now we can actually attach this to the reef so i'm going to semi attach this or i'm just going to show you because we're going to wrap this up i want you to see how the reef was going to look because it's already been over an hour so we know this is where the florals is going to be i will take this bow and i will attach this bow right here pull out this and I will attach this bow right here where this floral is. So that sunflower sits right there where that bow is. And this is your reef. We got our pumpkin. We move our pumpkin down here so our pumpkin can be seen. The pumpkin anchors the sign here. So we have that nice beautiful floral up at the top. We got those florals. This harvest sign here at the bottom. Beautiful floral pick. We're not going to add anything else. We have our tails. That's, this is it. 
we're going to just do the pumpkins here we are going to stick in these rhinestone um acorns we just place them around i only have four of them so we'll play four or five of them we'll place these around and that will be it to this reef so i'm so glad you guys took around with me to watch me make this reef um let me know what you think Put, show me a thumbs up smiley face let me know please like share follow subscribe watch the video on youtube if you watch and read the replay please hit replay and comment make sure you share it with your family and friends i really need you guys help in order for my business to grow on social media you guys would have to share it out to your friends and your family um so when you sharing it out make sure you let them know to please comment as well when they come on and watch the video let me know what they think thank you jacqueline great job it looks great thank you i i hope so and i really like you giving me that input on using the, the floral pick because it looks beautiful thank you for that input so definitely when you come on if you're watching this is replay please hit say replay give me a thumbs up let me know what you think let me know who you are let me know where you checking in from because i really like to know that and i always if you have a question please don't hesitate to ask me a question even when you're watching a replay i get notifications of everybody watching my replay and if you leave a message or a question it will come to me and then i will answer your question so please don't hesitate to do that so until we meet again you know what i always say i want you guys to stay safe bye